Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is part 6 of the Special Glitch series, and if you have watched part 1 to 5, and you've modded your Terabyte, your Avenger, your RC Bandito, and also your RC Tank, this video will show you how to easily switch mods, so you don't have to go through the Doomsday Act 2 finale again and again. Now before I move on, just a quick message over here. If you intend to purchase anything or any services from extramods.com, I have code for you right here that will give you 5% off. You don't have to buy if you don't want to, but just remember this coupon code when you do. So just a quick recap. I'm going to call out my RC Bandito, so you'll be able to see the F1 tires that it has. So I had used a hot rod blazer to put these wheels on the RC Bandito. And the whole reason why I used bikes, especially quad bikes or ATVs, is simply because I can use the MC menu and call them out whenever I want. If you had used a car, this would not be possible. So I'm going to call out the hot rod blazer and you'll see that they have the same wheels. So now if I want to change the mods on my RC Bandito, all I have to do is to drive the hot rod blazer into a full garage and in that garage would contain another unique four wheel bike or an ATV if you wish which I have already modded with different wheels. So all I have to do now is to drive into that garage and replace that vehicle. So I have a lifeguard blazer over here and it has Benny's wheels. I'm just going to replace it and this will effectively put the lifeguard blazer into the RC Bandito slot and give it Benny's wheels. Going back outside, I'm going to call the RC Bandito again, and you will see now that it has Benny's wheels. So this is a great way to change mods, especially wheels, and it doesn't take a lot of effort. The same thing can be done for your RC tank. I'm just going to call out mine, so that you can see the wheels that I've got. So in the video that I did RC Tank, I actually used a Street Blazer to provide the mods and I'm going to call it out now using the Motorcycle Club menu. And there it is with the exact same wheels as that of the RC Tank. Similarly as before, I'm going to drive this into a full garage where I have prepped another four wheel bike and this time round is the Verus and I'm going to replace it. Now let's go outside and call out the RC tank again. There's a bit of a cooldown, so there's a 2 minute cooldown for the RC tank and I'll just fast forward the video until the cooldown is done. And you can see that the RC tank has changed mods, or should I say wheels, and that is how simple it can be. So all you have to do is to prep the right vehicle and you can change mods whenever you want to. Now in order to prep all these vehicles, do refer to the 2 player arena merch which I have linked in the description below. For switching mods like these, I will always recommend 4 wheel bikes or even some of the 3 wheelers so that you can call them out easily. The other point to note is not to have 2 copies of the same quad bike so as not to confuse yourself. And of course above all, please do write down somewhere which bike you have pushed into the RC Bandito or the RC Tank, as that will save you a lot of guesswork later, whether you want to change mods again, or if you simply want to take them out. Next, I'll be showing you how to switch mods on the Avenger. So in my previous video, I actually put a Dune FAV into the Avenger slot, and so now my Avenger has Galaxy livery, as well as F1 wheels from the Dune FAV. So in order to switch mods, First, call out a personal vehicle that starts with the letter D, like what I have done with my Devastate over here. Next, you will need to prep another vehicle that would contain the livery as well as the wheels that you would like to change to. One vehicle that I would recommend would be the Maxwell Vagrant, as it has all the liveries that the Avenger can accept. Do refer to the description for a full list. So I have here a Maxwell Vagrant with pink and green camo. This would give the Avenger the Skulls livery, and of course, since I have off-road wheels, the Avenger will have off-road wheels as well. So in order to do this method, you will need a friend, and you will need the Karuma prep, which is part of the Flika heist ready to go. 
So fast forward into my apartment, invite a friend in, and go straight to the heist planning board and we'll be able to start the Kuruma prep from there. Once you have started up the prep and you have confirmed on all details, proceed to select play. Now in the second menu, call out the Dune FAV or any other vehicle you might have used and then select ready to play. Once you spawn into the heist, you will see that the Dune FAV that you have used is already out on the map. From here on, just get your friend to quit the heist so that you can be spawned back to free mode. Now since we pushed a vehicle into the Avenger, this is the only way to call it out because it will not appear in any garage when you call the mechanic as it is actually in the Avenger slot. So once you go back into an online session, the Dune FAV is right there and all you have to do is to drive it into the full garage that contains the Maxwell Vagrant. Of course, if you have used any other vehicles, just switch accordingly. Now once you have done the replacement, you will not be able to see the changes immediately. So what you will need to do is to go to creator mode and then come back into an online session. For the sake of proof, I'll just make a quick job teleport over to the facility to show you that you do not see this change reflected on your Avenger immediately. Now from here, I'll go to creator mode and then I'll come back online. And as you can see here, the Avenger has already switched liveries and it has exactly the same reels as my Maxwell Vagrant. So now on to the third tip. So after doing the mods on the Avenger, the RC Tank and the RC Bandito, you no longer have a bike in the terabyte slot. Even though the personal vehicle terabyte remains, your service vehicle now is not only unmodded, but it's gone back to the default colors and it is invisible in your terabyte garage. So of course the first option, is definitely to get the terabyte back into your terabyte garage so that it goes back to a normal state. After it gets back to its normal state, you can choose to do the modded terabyte glitch again and put in another bike to mod your terabyte. However, for now, the first thing that you will have to do is to make sure that your personal vehicle terabyte is in a full nightclub garage like mine and then you go steal a street car. Any street car will do as long as you'll be able to drive it into the nightclub. So drive this street vehicle into the garage that your personal vehicle terabyte is and replace that terabyte. Once you have done so, go to the same street vehicle that you drove in and drive it out of the nightclub. Once you're outside, Proceed to destroy this vehicle. After that, go back inside your nightclub and into your terabyte garage. You will see that your terabyte is still not there. So exit the nightclub again and proceed with the next steps. Once outside, Open up your phone, go to the website, go to Warstock, select the terabyte, go to interior decal, and select any other decal. After that, click renovate, and then renovate again. And on the top right, you should see the game take money from you. And after a few moments, the game will tell you that you have a new terabyte waiting for you. So close the website and go back into your terabyte garage, and you should see a brand new terabyte. So at this point, this brand new terabyte is as if you first bought it, now just to note a very very peculiar quirk, if you have any, 
this will be your one and only chance to buy custom plates on your terabyte. If you fail to buy a custom plate on your terabyte now, accessing the modification menu later will not allow you to buy any custom plates at all. And this is a bug from Rockstar that has never been solved. So I would suggest that you buy custom plates now, of course if you have custom plates, else you won't be able to do so later. So now that you have a brand new terabyte, if you still wish to do the modded terabyte glitch, please do upgrade your terabyte fully before doing that. Or you could just fully mod it and then leave it in this state, that's up to you. Now for those of you who did the modded brigade glitch that was in part 2 of the series, it is important to note that the personal vehicle brigade that you have gotten from the glitch may not be insured. So all you have to do is to get a friend to help you with the two-player arena merge in order to buy insurance for the brigade. The link to that tutorial video is in the description, so do follow that for the detailed steps. The only change you need to do is to use an uninsured streetcar as the donor. Now if you continue on with the rest of the video, you will see an example of the uninsured streetcar that I use, but I'm not going to bore you with the same exact commentary, so I'm just going to leave you at this point. Thanks for staying with me till all 6 parts of the series, and in the future I hope to be bringing more of such content for you to help you understand glitches better. Do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you can, and I'll see you again soon. Here's wishing you all a happy new year, stay safe and stay glitching.